Chapter 1. The Discovery In a dusty attic of an old mansion, Amelia, a young explorer with an insatiable curiosity, stumbled upon a hidden chest while rummaging through forgotten artifacts. Intrigued, she opened it and gasped in what what she found inside a worn, weathered map made of parchment. The map depicted a mysterious island, marked with intricate symbols and faded ink. Amelia's heart raced with excitement as she realized the significance of her discovery. This map could be the key to unraveling the long-lost secrets of the fabled Lost Island. With trembling hands, Amelia carefully examined the details on the map. It showed uncharted territories, perilous seas, and a trail that led to the heart of the island, where untold treasures and ancient knowledge were said to reside. A surge of determination coursed through Amelia's veins. She knew she couldn't embark on this perilous journey alone. She needed a team of skilled and adventurous individuals who shared her hunger for exploration. Word spread quickly, and it wasn't long before Amelia's call for fellow adventurers reached the ears of Captain Nathaniel, a seasoned sailor renowned for his expertise in navigating in charted waters, and Professor Evelyn, a renowned archaeologist and historian with a deep fascination for uncovering the secrets of ancient civilizations. Eager to be a part of this extraordinary quest, Captain Nathaniel and Professor Evelyn joined forces with Amelia. Their collective skills and knowledge made them a formidable trio, ready to face the challenges that lay ahead. As they gathered in the attic, the adventurers shared their motivations for embarking on this daring expedition. Amelia hoped to find answers about her long-lost parents, who had vanished mysteriously while searching for the very same lost island. Captain Nathaniel saw this as a chance to add another legendary adventure to his already impressive seafaring tales. Professor Evelyn's thirst for knowledge and desire to rewrite the history books fueled her determination to unearth artifacts that could reshape their understanding of the past. With their motivations aligned, the team prepared for their journey. They gathered supplies, provisions, and navigational tools necessary for the treacherous voyage ahead. Each adventurer brought their unique skills to the table Amelia's resourcefulness, Captain Nathaniel's nautical expertise, and Professor Evelyn's academic wisdom. Finally, the day arrived when they set sail on their sturdy ship, the Explorer's Fortune. The open sea beckoned, its vastness brimming with both anticipation and uncertainty. The adventurers carried the weight of their dreams and aspirations, ready to face the unknown and embark on a quest that would test their limits and redefine their lives forever. As the explorer's fortune cut through the waves, leaving the shores of familiarity behind, the adventurers knew they were on the brink of something extraordinary. Little did they know that their discovery of the mysterious map was only the beginning of prelude to the epic adventure that awaited them in their quest for the lost island. In a small coastal town, nestled by the shimmering sea, lived a young boy named Oliver. Oliver was a dreamer with an insatiable thirst for adventure. From a tender age, he would gaze at the horizon, captivated by tales of fearless sailors and their legendary voyages. Oliver spent his days exploring the shores, collecting seashells, and building tiny boats from driftwood. He longed to set sail, to traverse the vast ocean, and uncover the secrets it held. His heart was filled with an indomitable spirit and a determination to become a sailor. Every evening, Oliver would sit by the dock, watching ships disappear into the horizon. The salty breeze caressed his face as he imagined himself at the helm, guiding a majestic vessel through uncharted waters. His family, supportive yet cautious, would listen to his wild tales of daring escapades. One day, I'll be the bravest sailor there ever was. Oliver would exclaim, his eyes sparkling with dreams of conquest. The townsfolk knew of Oliver's dreams and admired his unwavering spirit. They affectionately called him the Brave Little Sailor, a name that resonated deeply with his aspirations. In his cozy room adorned with maps, model ships, and seafaring tales, Oliver would study navigational charts and learn about the art of sailing. He yearned for the day when he would embark on his own grand adventure and etch his name into the annals of maritime history. Little did Oliver know that his dreams were about to take him on an extraordinary journey, one that would test his courage, unveil mysteries, and bring him face to face with a legendary sea monster lurking in the depths of the ocean. 
And so, with a heart brimming with anticipation, Oliver prepared to set sail, ready to embark on the first chapter of his thrilling tale as the brave little sailor. Once upon a time, in a small coastal town, there was a group of adventurous kids named Alex, Lily, and Max. They were known as the treasure seekers because they loved going on thrilling quests. One sunny afternoon, while playing by the beach, the friends stumbled upon an ancient map hidden inside a bottle. The map revealed the secret location of the lost treasure of Pirate Cove, a legendary hoard of jewels and gold buried by a famous pirate long ago. Excited by the discovery, the treasure seekers set off on their grand adventure. They followed the map's clues, facing challenges along the way. They braved dark caves, crossed treacherous bridges, and even encountered mischievous monkeys guarding the treasure. Finally, after many days of exploring and overcoming obstacles, they reached Pirate Cove. The place was filled with tall palm trees, crashing waves, and a sense of mystery. They followed the final clue and dug deep into the sandy ground. As they dug, their hearts raced with anticipation. And then, with a loud clink, their shovels hit something solid. The friends eagerly unearthed a hidden chest covered in seaweed and sand. It was the lost treasure. With wide eyes and joyful smiles, they opened the chest to find dazzling jewels, shimmering gold coins, and precious artifacts. They couldn't believe their luck. But the treasure seekers knew that the real treasure was the adventure and friendship they had shared. Overwhelmed with gratitude, they decided to use their newfound wealth to help their community. They donated a portion of the treasure to build a new playground and sponsored local art classes for children. From that day on, the treasure seekers were remembered as the heroes of Pirate Cove. Their tale inspired other kids to embark on their own adventures, reminding everyone that the greatest treasures are often found in the journey itself. And so, the lost treasure of Pirate Cove became a legendary story, passed down through generations, reminding children to embrace curiosity, teamwork, and the magic of exploration. Chapter 1 The Mysterious Map As the sun set on the bustling port town, a young and adventurous pirate named Jack found himself wandering through the dimly lit streets. His eyes caught sight of a weathered, rolled up parchment tucked between crates near the docks. With curiosity piqued, he unrolled it to reveal an ancient map marked with faded ink. The map depicted a sprawling island adorned with cryptic symbols and dotted lines leading to an X. It was a treasure map. Eager to embark on a grand adventure, Jack gathered his loyal crew, including his trusted first mate, Emma, and set sail on their sturdy ship, the Crimson Dagger. The winds carried them across choppy seas as they followed the map's clues, encountering playful dolphins leaping alongside the ship, seemingly guiding them towards their destination. One stormy night, as lightning streaked across the sky, Jack discovered a hidden clue within the map. It hinted at a waterfall that concealed a secret passage to the heart of the island. Excitement electrified the crew, fueling their determination to unravel the island's mysteries. To be continued. Lost and found, Lucas's island odyssey of discovery and hope. In a tiny coastal village, nestled by the shimmering sea, there lived a young fisherman named Lucas. Every day, Lucas ventured out into the vast ocean, casting his nets in hopes of a bountiful catch. One morning, as he sailed farther than ever before, a magnificent storm engulfed the horizon. The tempestuous waves tossed his boat mercilessly, and Lucas found himself stranded on a deserted island. Days turned into weeks, and Lucas fought to survive. Yet, amid his struggle, he discovered the island's hidden treasures, a breathtaking waterfall, colorful flora, and the songs of exotic birds. One day, while exploring, Lucas stumbled upon a wounded seagull. He nursed it back to health and named it Seraph. Seraph became his loyal companion, sharing his solitary days with company and providing hope. Months later, a passing ship spotted Lucas's signal fire and rescued him. As he bid farewell to the island, his heart ached, leaving behind the tranquility he had found. Seraph soared into the sky, bidding Lucas a farewell, knowing his human friend would find happiness once more. Returning to the village, Lucas shared his incredible tale, his newfound appreciation for life, and the beauty he had discovered on that remote island. His story inspired others to seek the hidden treasures that lie within their own lives, the moments of solitude, the joys in simplicity, and the enduring power of friendship. 
And so, Lucas became a legend, reminding all who listen that even in the midst of stormy seas, there is beauty to be found, and the smallest companions can bring the greatest comfort.